The poet of old, of ancient times, would live not as a monk. He would have his family with him, and they would live on the grounds in these enormous gardens. The longer the walk, the less the thinking, more senses can inform. In the Chinese garden, a poet's practice is to wake early, walk, observe, then return to the desk to quote unquote write the forms that come to mind, those from immediate memory, to trust that the qi will direct the artist's hand. When you do a warm up, this is like a singer warms up the voice, a runner warms up your legs, an artist and writer, as described, would warm up your brushwork. In these strokes, it's, it's like the landing and takeoff of a plane. So you, you come down and you go off, and the gestures from the back of your spine, it's from the center of your back. It's from your heart chakra, right, right in the center. And um, not, not this fussy little mark making that, that immediately puts us into the perfectionist mode and the finished detail mode. It, it's actually very free. In Chinese painting, when you see the sort of weight of the paper coming through and, and slight, this is a dry brush going around, that's perfectly acceptable mark making. The positive and the negative we would call in Western art uh, is e of equal importance. In any plant form, you paint it the way it grows. It's got a um, sort of a broken, angled kind of stem in there. Um, it has these leaves that come out, and here I'm just I'm using uh, contour drawing techniques, which you may be familiar with in some of your classes. And it, you know, note the hold on my brush; it's so light a hold that um, I'm working with an outline. This is sort of a modern way of working and very painterly, which I like a lot. The tradition is you watch, you imitate, you do. I might start in my center and build my way out and change directions as I go um, and keep moving, keep moving. The more you sit there and think, oh, how, how, what's going on in the middle of that thing? Which is so much how we work. I, I mean, we really get lost. It's like people get lost right in there before they start their painting, right? So, so what you want here is an expression of energy and that sense of chi, that the energy of the plant, that it's heavier at the base, it lightens up at the top, and then it's got a, a lot of texture and movement. I'm showing you three different ways of working on a prepared canvas that adds that extra layer of texturing and, and definitely color from underneath so that you don't know what you see before you see it. So, you know, I'm going out to the landscape, it's green, or it's green, you know, you don't need to know that. What you need to know is, what are the values doing? What are the colors doing? How do the hills read? How does the flower read? Um, and how can the colors on my canvas help me define where I'm gonna go with the subject? So it kind of frees you up from imitation and shifts you into color relationship, texture, your response in the immediate, um, those types of things that I think are more painterly and less documentary. The pigments all do different things and over time when you learn to paint with the oils or any other medium, you're learning about what pigments do because they all look alike in the tube, but each one of these does something completely different. I'm just showing you how, how this style can work onto this surface at the moment. So um, the curly willow here, I'm gonna give it a little more expression in here. And in, in this one here, I don't want it to be purple because I've got a wet on um, wet surface, that gold went into the purple and it changed colors throughout the stem. And that's true in the stems when you look at them. Okay, there's, there's a lot of green in this one. There's golden brown in this and then it shifts color. You can do that with just stroking through the, the paint. So your color variation because of the contrast um, 
happens right on the canvas. You don't have to sit here and mix every single section of stem on your palette. You can allow that stroke, that sumi stroke, to do that work for you and let the paint paint the painting.